Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What's up if this is your first time here? My name is Edgar and today we are going to be reviewing, of course, what you're here for in the title, the Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors collection. I was fortunate enough to be invited to the actual launch party. And yeah, it was such an amazing time. I'll insert some snaps right here, some pics. If you guys don't have me on Snapchat already, make sure you guys add me so you don't miss out on anything, but yeah. We did receive the whole collection, which is so generous of Dose of Colors to do so. We received it in this really, really nice nude packaging. This was actually um, the theme of the party. Um, it was all nude. Even the floor was nude. Nude, nude, nude. Rose gold, everything. It was amazing. So, of course, I was there to support Desi, Katie, Dose of Colors, and the collection itself. But, y'all, Dose of Colors knows how to throw a party because they even had... Joanne the Scammer and Ty Dolla Sign. Like, that is a party. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to get right into it because I could keep talking forever and ever and ever. But here it is. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing, like, PR boxes. I know. Who was it? I saw someone do, uh, like, the actual PR box uh, that you could order for the public. But I'm not sure if this is influencers only. But yeah. Um, so opening it up. Inside, we have, ta-da! I feel like when you open this, it's almost like, you know, like the gates of heaven, like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, so of course, here are Desi and Katie looking snatched AF, and then here is the collection itself. It's all in this amazing rose gold packaging um, with kind of like the embossed, right here, it's like dose of colors. So the collection comes with two highlighters and then a quad shadow palette, which I actually do have on my eyes. Um, and then it also comes with two traditional like tube lipsticks that roll up. Um, both of those are nudes and also two liquid lipsticks, which also comes with a gloss that's more of a topper gloss, which I'm also wearing. I'm wearing one of the nude lipsticks and the gloss over it. But yeah, that is what it comes with. First off, I'm going to start off with the highlighters, which I am wearing. Um, there is a lighter one and there is a darker one. I am actually wearing both. I did the darker one kind of all over the cheek and then just on the high point, I did the lighter one. So the one that's a little bit darker, which, oh wait, by the way, um, all of the compacts come in this packaging. I thought when I saw it online, it was like little crystals, but it's actually like a netting. Like it's not, let me see. See, the good thing is I, that I like about this, the glitter isn't coming off. So they definitely, definitely did not go cheap on the packaging. Sides are rose gold. Um, we have the little dose of colors here in rose gold as well. And again, this amazing packaging. It looks almost like diamonds. You open it up, we have the highlighter right here. Again, this is the darker one. It's called Mirame. And just swatching this right here. It is on my cheekbones, but finger swatch. Oh, you can see this. Let me swatch this right here. <laughs> Do you get? Oh my god! So this is definitely, I think I'm about an ironically, I am about an NC35 in Mac shade, just for reference, because I know that's the easiest shade to reference to. But I felt like this. I I thought it was going to be a little too dark for me, but I put it on and it was just fine. But now even the lighter one looks like something that I would wear. Um, I know. Luster Lux is the one that designed the lighter one, um, and I thought it was going to be way too light because she is a lot lighter than I am, but here it is. Again, same packaging, and this is what it looks like inside, and this one is called Fuego, so you can really see kind of like the difference side by side. One is a little more gold, which is the lighter one, and then the one that's a little more tan, it's more of like a rose gold. I thought it was going to be like a tan, tan, tan shade, kind of like gold is the new black almost. Let me go ahead and swatch the lighter one as well so you guys can see them side by side. Here they are, the Fuego, which is the lighter one is on the bottom. And then the darker one, you guys can see like right there, it's obviously a lot darker than those, but I am not, I'm like a medium sort of shade. I'm not that dark, I'm not that light. I'm kind of right in between. And I felt like both of these highlighters definitely work for me. So that being said, I think if you are darker in complexion, both of them are definitely going to work for you. You can kind of layer them just like I did today. But if you are a little lighter, I feel like you might have to mix the darker one, Mirame, um, with your bronzer or a little bit on your blush because just doing it on the top of your cheekbones is 
kind of show up muddy. I don't have anyone that's a little lighter around me to kind of demonstrate, but you guys kind of get what I mean. Um, it'll be something that you can kind of mix in with your bronzer. But yeah, those are the two highlighters, Mirame and Fuego. Now for the eyeshadow compacts, which I thought, by the way, was a genius idea if you guys haven't seen them. Here you go. Same packaging as the um, highlighters. You can see it's kind of a little tiny bit bigger um, than the um, highlighters. But, yeah, I'm going to open it up now. Same packaging. And here are the shades. So all of these are sort of meant to be pops of colors. On my eyes today, I have this one right here, which is, is this Harpoon? I'm so awful. Let me look. <laughs> I got a reference. Um, no, wait. Yeah, I have Turboson. So this is Turboson. This is Harpoon. And then... This is Noli, and then this is Suze. On my eyes today, I have these two right here, Suze and Turbosan. Um, you guys can see, in the pan, it looks like, it looks like a, just like a navy blue. No, Harpoon looks like a green. It looks like a green with a little bit of that kind of blue thrown in there with gold as well. Noli looks like just a bronzy shade, and then Suze is the bright pop that I have right here. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys. I think they definitely do show up way different. And by the way, you guys, I'm doing swatches right here. No primer, no nothing, okay? We keep it very, very real up in this channel. All right, so here are the shades. Honestly, I might just, like, insert pictures because <laughs> my lighting is awful for my videos always. And it says here that Suze and Harpoon, which are, like, the greener and the golden ones, are supposed to be used wet. I didn't wet them here, so this is kind of just what they show up like. You can definitely see that they aren't, they're not necessarily not as pigmented. I just can definitely see how the water would be beneficial to get them a little bit more on the wet side. I did watch Katie and Desi's video, um, and they did demonstrate that. So, yeah, but um, the two shades that I used today, I did use Sue's Wet on the inner corner, so that's kind of what it looks like, and then I applied turbo sun on my lid with just my finger and I went like that and it looks still really really bomb a lot of payoff um and that was just with like a layer or two so I didn't really have to pack it on but I can definitely see why they did this um they definitely went in a smart route we got enough matte shades we have enough neutrals so I love quads like this that are different pops of color there's a lot of variety in here from natural to dark. Um, and even the darkest one is not even that dark. I would wear this every day, to be honest. But yeah, that was the quad. So love this as well. So again, like I mentioned, there are two liquid lipsticks in here and then two of the traditional ones. The traditional ones are the ones that are nudes. And then the liquid lipsticks are a little bit of bolder colors. So here is what the liquid lipsticks look like. They're very, very like, very Desi and Katie nude rose gold top it says dose of colors on here um it's like not necessarily a matte it's almost like a satin sort of what's the description of these i don't even know it's not like rough but it's not soft but it's not like shiny it's like a satin i guess almost it's like a soft matte almost packaging um and then the lipsticks are in the exact same sort of color um, they say dose of colors again right there with the rose gold accents. I am just swiping these. So here is no shade, which is right. Can you see it? Where is it? Oh my God, I can't even. Oh, <laughs> it's all the way down here. Right here. Um, that is no shade. So let me go ahead and swatch more creamer, please, which is actually what I'm wearing. I'm wearing more creamer, please, and the gloss, which I'll show you guys in a little bit but i'll go ahead and swatch more creamer please you can see oh yes lots of pigments on these lippies um dose of colors formula is my favorite for liquid lipstick so i know these definitely aren't going to let me down now for the first liquid lipstick this is hot fire oh my god y'all see this ah Sauvage, all right. It's not savage. There's an accent it's here. It's house. It's called Sauvage. So, oh, oh my God, uh, this is so good. Look at this. So here is what they look like right there on my arm. Again, please keep in mind I am about a medium skin tone. 
Um, and I do have more creamer, please. Oh, let me go ahead and swatch the gloss as well. So here is what the gloss looks like. I definitely think, where's the gloss? Oh yeah, right here. Um, I definitely think that it would be best paired with a nude lipstick, of course. They said it didn't have color to it, but it does have a very, very light, almost like camel color, which is flattering on all sort of skin tones. I thought I these were going to be a little too light for me. I usually like nudes that are a little more on the like mauve side, more purpley, like kind of like MAC World. But that is the entire collection, you guys. We have the two highlighters, the eyeshadow palette, two regular lipsticks, two liquid lipsticks, and the gloss. What I have on my eyes, I have the shadow palette. On my lips, I have the eye color. Um, and then I also do have the Marvelous, no, wrong palette, the Baked Browns from Dose of Colors as well on my eyes, but would I approve? Would I spend my money on this? Would I recommend you guys to get this? Yes, definitely. Um, Desi and Katie are definitely super down to earth. I've met Katie before and I met Desi for the first time at the party. So sweet. And uh, again, of Dose of Colors, the whole Dose of Colors team is amazing. But we are talking about product today. But I still love the product. Um, I think definitely everything in here is really, really, really thought out from the packaging to the colors, everything is something that you can find regardless of what skin tone you are, what age, it's definitely something that they have everything for. But yeah, that is my review for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you did want to see a little bit more of me, don't forget to hit subscribe. Ugh, I'm talking a little too quick. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you guys leave them down in the comments below. But yep, that is everything for me today, you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.